Want to take your triple jump to the next level? Well, let me show you how. We've all been there. You can't get your hop right. Your step peters out and there's no jump phase. Well, worry no more. With just a few simple technical tweaks and drills, you can get your hop on point and therefore your triple jumping. With the hop, there's a singular technical change that you can make that will make all the difference to your hop and your jumping. Simply put, you want to take your hopping leg across when you take off and not let it rotate behind you. So it's a case of pulling the heel up at a diagonal angle to the front of your body. If you do that, your takeoff will still extend and you'll clear the board and generate some forward momentum. But the real significance comes in what happens after as that diagonal pull will get the thigh into a really high position in front of the hips. Think of Pachado and that position he gets as he's coming out of his hop. That high thigh position will then enable you to really extend into your step contact and that's the big payoff from that movement. So how do you learn to hop like that? Well, simply do a succession of hops over say 20 meters and keep working on pulling that hopping leg up and diagonally to the front of the hip, one after the other. Don't think about the rotation, as I said earlier, that will happen naturally. Hit the right position with a diagonal pull and then you're gonna transition into each and every hop better and also when it comes to the triple jump into the step. You might say, hang on a minute coach, aren't we supposed to rotate our hopping leg? Well, yes, you are. But if you think too much about holding the ground behind you and then rotating the hopping leg to the front, you're going to lose position. Potentially your torso can rock forwards and that's therefore going to make it very hard to pull the thigh through to the front. However, that simple diagonal pull of the foot to in advance of the hip does everything you need. So after you've done that and mastered that, and it's not very difficult to do, you've then got to transfer it into your triple jumping. And what we've done is simply perform two times 20 meters of hopping with a diagonal pull on both legs and then gone down to do some jumping. We started with eight to 10 step approaches and you can see Jahisha and Toby doing the triple jump now using this new hop method. And you can see that their positions are much, much better in the transference from the hop and into the step. Contrast this, for example, with Jay, who's not quite yet mastered the art of getting the thigh into the right position in front of the hip. And you can see that his forward thigh is nowhere near as high as Jahisha and Toby's, for example. So we need to work more on that in particular with him. However, I'm sure that with more repetition of the hopping drills, he will very quickly get that similar position as you guys will. When you come out of the hop, you need to present your foot to the ground and it's better to do that in a rolling movement as that will give you a bit more time to impart force through into the step. Now, as I said, the hop diagonal pull method will get the foot into the great position in front of the hip. And then if you roll across the foot and transfer into the step, you're going to take a lot of speed and a lot of power with you. You can really see it in Jahisha's step, whereas in the past she'll be quite flat. Here, she's elevating, holding her position with her single arm action and going into the jump phase in a much better position as well. Well, I hope that this way of hopping and its simple implementation will help you and your triple jumping. If you've got any specific questions on the subject matter of this particular video, or indeed any of my others, then do leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media. And good luck with your training and of course any competitions that are coming up as we approach the new year and the indoor season. Look out for more videos on training through the indoor season and how to get specifically ready. And of course, do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be notified as to when I upload new content. And do please give this video a thumbs up, a like. If you'd like to find out more about specific training for the indoor season, then why not consider becoming a channel member? I've just made a video which shows you my detailed training plan for this particular period and a very specific one for an individual athlete who I coach remotely. So you'll be able to see 
exactly what I do in this phase in terms of reps and sets and I'll give you further insights into the whys and wherefores. So head over to the channel's main page, click on the join button to see what offers are available. Freelap have just launched a new piece of kit. Now this looks like the TX Junior Pros, the pyramids, yellow pyramids, that record the times as the athletes pass them. But what this one does, it actually gives you the command on your marks and sets the athlete off with a bang. So it emits the sounds through a speaker built into it. It gives you a 10 second lead in once you press the set button and then randomly within I think a two and a half second period, the gun will fire through the device to set you off. Now that triggers the system. So it's going to be a very accurate way to measure starts. If you want to find out more, then do get in contact with me. If you like the Jumps Squad merchandise that I often wear in these videos, then do check out the Spring Store. You'll see the products available underneath this video, for example. And I've launched a new backpack rucksack with the Jump Squad logo on it. So do check that out.